I just bought this <laughs> remote control lawnmower from Amazon and it's awesome. So let's talk about this thing. What is it exactly? So obviously it is a remote controlled lawnmower. You just control it like you would an RC car. It's basically like an RC car for adults. If you're somebody that grew up with RC cars, this is like right up your alley. It's so much fun to drive. Technically it's a slope mower. This is rated for up to a 45 degree slope and mowers like this is something that you would typically buy if you have like a big hillside that you need to mow that's too steep for a riding mower or a push mower where there's like a high risk that you might flip it over or roll down the hill. You would get something like this and then just stand somewhere safe and remote control it up and down the hill so that way you don't uh, die. What interested me in this is slope mowers of this size from like name brands typically start off at about $10,000 and you can get these things all the way up to, I think over $100,000. Like you can just go as crazy as you want. They have some that have cameras and lights and brushes and snow plows and uh, you know, 60 inch cuts and all kinds of crazy stuff. But this one on Amazon was 3,500 for essentially one third the cost. I wonder, I wanna know if it's gonna be decent or if it's gonna be worth it. So here's how it works. It has a battery over here and it has two electric motors that run the tracks. And it also has these two actuators that move the deck up and down. And obviously you just control everything from your controller. So you can move it. Well, you gotta turn it on first. So you can just. And then it has this for, you can move the deck up and down. That's pretty sweet. So like if you're loading it on a trailer, you can just raise it all the way up. It also has several different modes. It has a, uh, like a slow, like a crawl mode and a fast mode. It goes up to three and a half miles an hour. And then it has a, a cruise control mode. But anyway, enough talking. I have a patch of grass over here that I have been lit, uh, I've let it grow up for a little while. And let's, let's just start off really easy and see if it can just cut some grass. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut through. So you can see this grass is pretty, pretty tall. Like, I don't know, mid calf, most of it. So I'm gonna do one, sh one strip with the, with the mowing deck all the way up, just to see, make sure it's, you know, has enough power and all that good stuff. And we'll mow another strip this way where we will lower the deck uh, probably to like this, this height right here. And we'll see if it like bogs down or anything. It looks like we kind of missed some right here, but I think this is just where the track is because it only has a 21 inch cut. But everywhere where it went over, I mean, that is, that's a really nice cut. That's, uh, <laughs> that's impressive, to be honest. Let's lower the deck down. We kind of bogged down. We didn't stall, but we kind of bogged down. I thought we missed some, but that's actually, that's just like the ch chunks of grass. I'm very impressed with that. I mean, it bogged down a little bit, but I mean, I think that's to be expected with how tall and how thick this grass is. So, so far I'm impressed. Kind of thought that the, at the price point, you'd be giving up a lot of power, uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Another thing I didn't uh, mention is that the battery I mentioned that the battery powers the electric motors and that's what drives the tracks. What I forgot to mention is that under here is an alternator. So as long as the engine is running, it will supply the battery with enough power to uh, run the electric motors. So this isn't like a, you don't have to charge it up or nothing. As long as you have gas, you can cut grass. That rhyme, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Obviously we know that it can cut grass like it should, which is nice. I would expect that. Um, so now let's go see uh, let's go put it on some steep slopes and see how it handles that something else i want to show you is that when i say this thing is like a giant rc car this is what i'm talking about so here we have unfavorable conditions it's all the way out of my backyard is all uneven and and whatnot but this thing just does not care
Okay, maybe it cares a little bit. Please don't flip over. Okay, so so it kind of cares a little bit, I guess, but you get what I'm saying. It's really cool. All right, guys, before we go any farther, this video is sponsored by Raycon. Now, Raycon is on a mission, and that mission is to prove that you don't have to spend an arm or even a leg to get good quality earbuds. In fact, you can get a pair of Raycons and get a spare, and you will still pay less than you would at some of those other brands out there. So I'm gonna tell you my three favorite things about Raycons. Number one, they have incredible noise isolation so that when I have them in, I can't hear the people in the comments telling me to take the spaghetti off of my wall. So I enjoy that one a lot. Number two, they have eight hours of playtime. So I can throw them in, put on some music, and I can be in the zone for eight hours. And number three, they are water and sweat resistant so I can wear them while I work out. So if you are interested in a pair of Raycons and you wanna save some money, there will be a link in the description. You can go to buyraycon.com forward slash TylerTube and you can get 15% off your order. All right, so here we are at a much more challenging hill than my backyard. This hill actually kind of has two sides. This side is probably 40 to 45 degrees. So that we'll do this first. And then over here on the left side, it gets uh, probably 50 degrees, maybe a little bit more in certain spots. So we'll kind of go easy over here and then we'll test over here. So I'm just gonna do one, one simple strip up and back and uh, see if it, if it can handle it. All right, so no surprise there. It went down just fine. Let's see if it'll come up. I'm gonna lower the mowing deck too. Okay, so that was actually very impressive, even though the GoPro seems to have just done whatever it feels like doing. So that's kind of a letdown. This is 45-ish uh, degrees, you know, pretty much the max of what it's rated for, and it handled it absolutely no problem. I didn't, didn't even act like it was gonna tip or do anything. So let's go ahead and move over to something much steeper. All right, I know from the camera, it's kind of hard to tell how steep this hill is, but especially right along these two trees, this is, absolutely the steepest part of this whole front yard. So if it can make it up this, this is gonna be very, very impressive to me. If it can make it up frontwards, that's impressive because it has way more weight in the back than it does uh, the front. So if it can make it up frontwards, it can a thousand percent make it up backwards, which is even more impressive. Okay, that was literally like nothing. So I guess we need to find some more challenges. It didn't even struggle one bit. Again, more, I'm more impressed. <laughs> Definitely don't do that. Okay, so this is our second challenge. I don't know how, because the video flattens everything out. So I don't know how to show how steep this is, but this is way more than 45 degrees, probably 50, maybe even 55 in some parts of it. It's almost too steep to walk up. Like you can see how steep it is, hopefully. So if it does this, um, that's way more than it's rated for and I'm gonna be extremely impressed. So let's give this a shot. Okay, so this path you just saw me take, right through here, and then up through here, is literally the absolute steepest part of the hill. 
and at least backwards, frontwards if I try it, it'll probably flip over because like I said, there's way more weight in the back than the front, but backwards, literally no problem at all. Um, I don't really know what else to do. I thought this would be like, they say, you know, it's rated for 45 degrees. Maybe once you get 40, maybe 50, 45, 50, it would really start to struggle or not have enough power. That doesn't seem to be the case at all. And it's also obviously cutting grass the whole time it's doing this. I guess next maybe we'll go a little bit farther up and see if we can cut through some of this really thick stuff and maybe do like some like minor like bush hogging and see if it'll see if it'll handle it. All right, so now for our thick stuff test, we're gonna cut all through here and I'm gonna try to go all the way back through here where some of this stuff is, you know, almost chest high. And uh, I'm just gonna put the deck all the way up and I don't imagine that it'll have any problem in just chewing through all of this. So that was pretty impressive. Literally didn't struggle at all. This thing is kind of like uh, kind of like the terminator of lawnmowers at this point. I haven't found anything that is too challenging for it. It just kind of goes over everything, mows over everything, and it just seems pretty unstoppable. All right, so this hill that we're at now is gonna be kind of like our final challenge. So it kind of has like multiple different levels, and I, I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but I downloaded a protractor app on my phone so I can kind of check the degree of the hill. So we're gonna go up here first. Here, just you know, roughly putting my phone on the ground, this is about down here about 47 degrees and it gets up to about like 50 degrees here. And then you go up here and it kind of levels off a little bit and it looks like it, it looks like it goes to about 42 and then kind of gets steeper as we go up to I think like almost 60 a little bit farther up it goes up to 55 so it kind of like progresses up and I think there's a little another part over here that's a little bit steeper so we'll try this and then we'll go over there all right now let's just try to go straight on see if we can just go straight up it we got to go backwards of course oh I don't know if we're gonna make it uh, feels like we're gonna tip. All right, so let's go a different angle. Something I've discovered is that you can go much steeper if you go at an angle. So let's go at kind of an angle. Oh yeah, look at that. No problem if you go at an angle. Let's try to go even steeper. Oh yeah, look at that. cut that little patch of grass. Now up here, this is where it gets sketchy. See if we can go at an angle up through here. Uh, I don't think I want to go that way, actually. Let's try to go this way. We're sliding. Uh, oh yeah, we're sliding. Man, if we can get, get traction, I bet we can make it up there. Maybe if we start a little bit over here. Yeah, maybe let's start over here. Oh. 
Oh, oh, look at that. I'm gonna have to go up there and measure that after this. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's all the way up. All right, okay. All right, I'm about to go bring that back down the long way. All right, let's see how steep that steepest part of the hill is. Like through here, which is like 51. I almost can't even walk up this. And then here, <laughs> I'm literally sliding down. It's about 50. And then through here, it's about 50 as well. So it's rated for 45, but as you can see, if you go at an angle, easily you can go more than 45. 45 looks like it's just the safe zone. So let's try some more sketchy stuff. Okay, so th this little hill right here is a lot shorter, but it's a lot steeper. This goes like right through here, at least according to my phone, it's up to 60 degrees. So I think if I can tackle this kind of like at an angle, I think it's, that's gonna be super impressive, especially if I don't slide off over here. I'm gonna try to maybe just go through here and <laughs> Hope that that works. Oh, look at that. I don't think it's gonna be a problem at all. Oh, look at that. Literally no problem at all. Oh, and that's with the mowing deck all the way up. We should move that mowing deck down. Now, this part of the hill goes even a little bit steeper than that. I wonder if we can just nosedive and not flip over. Okay, that's impressive. Can we back up it? Oh, uh, the traction. Maybe if we go at an angle. I feel like that was very, very, very close. That's that's probably the upper limit of what we can do, I bet. Because that, that felt very close. All right, let's go straight down this. Okay. Can we go up, maybe? There's no way we can go up. Oh, no, that's already wants to tip over. You gotta go backwards. I did not think traction would be an issue. Yeah. It seems like if you know what you're doing and you know how to and you know how to just walk it around and go slow and take your time and approach the right angles, you can really finagle this thing into some places that you probably shouldn't be. All right, I am very, very impressed with that. Especially being able to come right up through here at an angle and like not even really hardly slip at all. Just as long as you know just how to work it and which way to kind of finagle it and get it up there. Um, I gotta say I'm impressed. I'm a little uh, disappointed that we were slipping a little bit, although I think the ground is a little wet. I think that's kind of why we were slipping. You wouldn't really expect like big like knobby tracks like this to slip, but uh, I guess once you start going up so so steep, if you don't have, it's, it's the thing only weighs 300 pounds. So once you start getting at extreme angles, you don't really have enough weight to keep the traction down. I mean, all things considered, I am extremely impressed. So there's one more thing that I want to try just for my own personal satisfaction is I want to try to hit that patch of weeds right there. I want to try to go maybe from here at an angle and kind of work my way all the way over there. I don't know if we'll be able to do it, but we're going to give it a try. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to approach it from the angle I need to. Cause I think, I think this is the angle I need to go. Oh geez, that already looks too steep. Okay. Oh, we made it. Oh, this is nerve wracking. All right.
Hey, if we go more sideways. Oh, we're just gonna miss it. Oh. Alright. Alright, let's see. What do we what, what, what do we need to do here? Maybe we'll go this way. Oh, we might hit it this time. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's so thick. It's, it wants to like tip us over. Okay, we hit half of it. This is stressing me out. Okay. Maybe if we kind of, oh, that was a big slide. What if we kind of weasel our way over here a little bit? Oh. Okay. We took out half of it. Let's get a little bit more exciting here. Let's try to take out that little that little bunch right there. After doing the other one, I think that might be a little bit easier, honestly. Oh, look at that. That walked right up that. That was no problem at all. Okay, that's, that's crazy. I'm impressed with that. All right, so I think that's gonna do it. I mean, we I have pushed this thing uh, about as hard as you can. I've taken it places where you, it definitely sh uh, should not be going. I, we figured out that you could definitely take it past 45 degrees. Especially, what I'm very impressed with is that it's only rated for 45 degrees, like I've said a hundred times. But if you know what you're doing, and I guess depending on what kind of operator you are, if you're someone like me, like I grew up on four-wheelers, dirt bikes, stuff like that, and you can kind of just look at the terrain and you can kind of just instinctually know like what angles to approach different things and whatever, you can really weasel this thing into some spots that you probably shouldn't, but it will make it there. So I really like that, that it's not like a hard limit at 45 and that's like the absolute max that you can do. You can really, you know, depending on who you are, get it uh, where you need it to go. I have, I did a lot off camera, so I probably have like three hours of drive time uh, at this point. And I literally have no complaints. I've had no problems. I have no complaints. The, well, I have a very small complaint. It's just something, just very tiny, tiny, tiny complaint. If you are going at an angle and you're going sideways, you know, more than 45 degrees, probably somewhere around 55 to 60 degrees going sideways, and you have less than half a tank of gas, uh, it will kind of spit and sputter sometimes. And sometimes it'll even die. Depends like which side you're on. If you, as long as you keep the gas tank on the high side of the mower, then it that usually doesn't happen. So that's like that's literally the only tiny complaint that I can that I can come up with. Other than maybe if you also want to throw in there, if you're doing a lot of hills like real steep, like if you're mowing at 45 degrees nonstop, it's gonna drink gas, and it it really really drinks gas. But that's it. I mean, those are the only two little tiny complaints I can come up with. Other than that, I love it. It's basically unstoppable. I'm sure I'll make many more videos with it, trying to modify it and do different stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Oh!